different aspects of the sales that we're going to talk about this morning. So my uh, my five minutes is on uh, achieving uh, rainmaker status when you're in a sales job and you're trying to improve. And I'm going to, because of the short time that we've got here, I'm going to be very specific as to one way that I found to be uh, very uh, successful in uh, in making you uh, better at sales. And uh, you know, uh, the main thing here we have to do is we have to take control of our own self-development plan. And the first thing, step one, that I tell people is to make a list of areas you need help in. Now, that might be that might be something that uh, that you don't know, but if it's if it's something you don't know, you can take certain assessments for that. But uh, most of us, if we're in sales, know that what we're weak in and what we're and what we need development in and what we're strong in. Uh, we can need help in prospecting or qualifying or closing the sale or uh, communications or presentations. I mean, uh, time management, that's a great one. Uh, those are all areas that we can uh, put on our development plan. And once we get it on the development plan and prioritize it, one easy way to get started with that process Sit down at your favorite computer with your favorite search engine and start looking at are there blogs out there, sales blogs out there that address the, the items that I have on my list that I need to improve on. And you can search them for topics. You can start looking and visiting those blogs and you can start kind of identifying with those, those subject areas that resonate with you. And uh, you can leave comments and questions. These people with the with the, the best sales blogs out there love to help people. And that's an area that you can get started with right today. You don't have to you don't have to worry about setting up some big long development program. Another thing you need to do is you need to have a mentor slash sales manager slash advisor, somebody or, or coach, somebody that can look at you from the outside in because. Chances are they're going to see more about you than you see in yourself, both good and bad. And you have to open yourself up to the fact that these uh, uh, that these people are going to be here to help you if you pick the right person as a as a an advisor or a coach. And then finally, you need to go ahead and, and take those new skills that you want to do, and you need to get out there and you need to implement. Them. And that's going to be ugly at first. You're going to be you're going to you're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be clunky. And you're probably going to drop the ball a few times, but that's all right. You're out of your comfort zone, and when you're out of your comfort zone, that means you're learning. And finally, the fifth step is repeat steps one through four, because repetition really, really sinks in as something that uh, it takes those, those behaviors that you're not used to doing, and it makes them part of your sales process. So, you know, one of the, uh, one of the best quotes I... I've heard is experience is how we convert information into wisdom. Okay? And we've got to, we just have to keep working at it. Thank you.